All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna be in 147 pound division where it is said that there is proof that Terrence Crawford rumors around using PEDs for his fight against Errol Spence Jr. and previously has been dis, uh, has been disproven and evidence is given that is a little bit bizarre and not the evidence that we would usually expect to see. But let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna be in the 147 pound division where there has been a lot of accusations going on around about Air, uh, Terrence Crawford and the Errol Spence Jr. fight that took place back in July. And many people saying that Terrence Crawford looks like Terrence Crawford was using uh, enhancements in order to give himself an unfair advantage over Arrow. Um, I would don't want to use the term because videos get demonetized when you say that, but we're talking about PEDs. So people have hit my comment section and there are videos out there and conversations out there that said that Terrence Crawford has proven that that is not the case. And they point to, from my understanding, point to certain things that took place. And I have to say, just like I tell the people that say that they know that he was, that that ain't proof. It's not proof. But before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime supporter and of the channel, thank you guys so much. Let's chop it up about this boxing. And again, thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks of videos like this and, and, the, and the super chat in the live streams that we do. And hit the like button, share the video, and do me a favor. If you can't do any of the above, watch another video. It really does help. Thank you. But let's get into this because um, this type of issue is not good for the sport of boxing. But as many professional fighters have said and people involved in the sport, that it is rampant. So first and foremost, having Terrence Crawford being accused of this, in my personal opinion, it is not it is something where I will not accuse somebody unless I know they tested positive. But every time that I hear it, I think to myself, well, it could absolutely positively be true if you believe what everybody in boxing says. Everybody that I hear that talks about that stuff going on in boxing says, yeah, there's a lot of people that are on it. Right. However, whenever somebody suggests that a top level boxer could be on them, magically, everybody in the press and all of their fans just act like that's impossible for them. It's not impossible for them. So after Air, uh, Terrence Crawford does something by beating Errol Spence Jr., there has been a lot of talk about him and this particular issue. So my stance has always been that I don't know unless the man tests positive. However, it was brought to me that there is an, a reason that we now know that he wasn't. And it is related to the fact that Devin Haney, Devin Haney is now up at 140 pounds and he's with snack and he looks very muscular, very strong. And he looks like he is too big for um, like he's too now too big for 135 pounds and he's going to be carrying a lot of power and a lot of strength into his fight with Regis Progre. How that is proof of Terrence Crawford's innocence is beyond my, it blows my mind. I have no clue how that works. <laughs> what does one person have to do with the other? And number two, number one, what does this one person ability to move up and look stronger how does that reflect on the innocence of another person when you don't know if that person is innocent? Also, you've had multiple. There's a lot of people that have moved up in weight and didn't and didn't pop. So I guess everybody's in, innocent because if one person isn't doing it, that means another person's not doing it. Doesn't make a lot of sense. However, 
There is something else out there. This is interestingly enough, it's actually brought up by somebody that's on Terrence Crawford's team. And then it, and that is Victor Conti, where Victor Conti says uh, in a tweet back on July 31st, that he was asked a question. Was Errol, were, it should have been, were Errol and Terrence on the VADA testing protocol just asking for a friend? And this was asked of Victor Conti, infamous Victor Conti. Victor Conti says, yes, both Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence did stringent VADA testing for eight weeks of camp fight and fight night. In my opinion, the lack of tr- of transparency, testing transparency by Premier Boxing and TGB is unacceptable. Clean boxing should be a prior- priority of all involved. Now, this is Victor Conti. Victor Conti is on Terrence Crawford's team. And he says that there is not that lets people know what the deal is, that we don't know what the results were, were for Terrence Crawford. Also do not know what the results for were for Errol Spence Jr. And what Victor Conti implies here when he says lack of transparency by Premier Boxing and TGB is unacceptable. Clean boxing should be a priority for all involved. So when he says clean boxing, how does transparency affect clean boxing? Clean boxing is the test itself. If you don't people let people know what the results of the pet tests are, that doesn't mean it's not clean. So, but he is actually insinuating that there could be something dirty that went on, right? Because uh, Premier Boxing and TGB are not releasing the testing, test findings. Well, guess who else was a promoter on that card? Terrence Crawford Promotions or whatever his promotional company is. He gets the test results. He's a promoter. Can't he release them? But at the very least, we know that there's been no results for Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence Jr. released. So therefore, we don't know whether or not somebody popped or did not pop. Now, this was at July. This was this was actually on July 31st. Right. July 31st. The fight was July 29th. And and he was complaining about it two days after the bout. From what I can see, it has now been. What is that? July, August, September, October. We're going on three months and still not have any had any test results released. And there was I don't want to do it because I I mean, I just not going to do it. But I had an exchange with I had an exchange with somebody that was very high in the PBC that almost made it sound to me like there really wasn't a lot of testing for that particular fight. Even when you see that there was testing for the eight weeks, the eight weeks of camp. If you recall for the Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia fight, the testing for that fight started way before they actually started training camp, way before they started training camp. And if you know the way that these things work, according to what experts say, Eight weeks isn't enough because you could have done all the stuff that you needed to do in the time before and then cycled off of it, went through training camp, got all the benefits and popped in. So the eight weeks itself is shady. So for people saying that somehow Devin Haney, Devin Haney's side weight gain and all that means that Terrence Crawford is clean. No, it does not. It doesn't mean that he is that he is that he's guilty either. There's nothing out there to say that he is. But. There is nothing out there to say that he's not either because they haven't released the they haven't released the results. But anyway, and we all know these people ain't really trying to do anything with this testing stuff. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know uh, what you think in the comment section. And that's about as balanced and honest and fair as I can respond to that stuff. Thank you to everybody that asked me the question. It's a dirty business out there. And most of these guys are on something. That's what boxers say. So that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.